Hey guys, uh, long time no see, apologies for that. I was meant to film in February when I was going to Whistler but people got Covid and I just wanted to be safe and not go. Like, I didn't have it but just in case I was asymptomatic or something I said I'll stay home for the safety of everybody. So that was cancelled unfortunately so yeah I'm going to Yukon to see the Northern Lights. I went with an agency so they'll, I'll get collected at the airport drop my accommodation and then I have two nights of the Northern Lights viewing tour and then I'm going dog sledding. Not sure what day that is. I think I'll get my itinerary when like I land. So I added like dog sledding onto the package because I was like I'd like to try that. And it's huskies. It's like a husky superlative. That's what it was called. So I guess I gotta wait and see what a husky superlative is. It wasn't just sledding, it's spend time with huskies and doing something like that. And husky is my favourite dog breed, so I'm excited, I'm happy and hopefully everything goes according to plan because I've been so excited for this trip since I booked it in like November. But don't worry, a lot more vlogs are coming up. I'm not gonna take like a two month break like I did. I'm hoping to do a lot more things and have a lot more planned and basically be active and experience new things and explore and I'll bring you along with me because that's the whole point of this for my family and my friends to see what I'm doing. Hope you enjoy these and I'll see you probably on the plane or in Whitehorse. I don't know. Hi. Hello, I'm now in the Yukon, I'm in Whitehorse and it's been, I've been here for like, what time is it, it's 5 o'clock now, I've been here for like 4 hours but <laughs> the reason why I'm vlogging now was because when I arrived, so I got collected from the airport by the agency that I booked with and he dropped me out of the the hotel I'm in now and their office is actually in this hotel so it's very handy if I need help I can just go to them but um we were chatting back and forth about like what I'm doing what days I'm doing it and he said tonight when I we're going on the northern lights tour I there's a shop up the road that I can buy marshmallows because there's gonna be a campfire so we can because I get I get complimentary I think hot chocolate or hot drink and a biscuit and he said but if you want to buy marshmallows you can roast them by the fire and I was like mm, definitely doing that so I gotta go and do that I haven't been there yet because what I'm wearing is not really um it won't keep me as warm as it should because check in was at three o'clock and I got here around got here around one o'clock and then I talked to the and agency for like an hour just kind of going through everything make sure everything's okay with me whatnot and um then i had to i walked around my horse for a bit just went to like shops and want to see things and like what i'm wearing is actually it was a bit cold but it wasn't like oh my god i'm freezing let me out of here you know so it was fine so i went to check in at three o'clock and my room wasn't ready so they gave me a complimentary drink in the bar next door so i went to the bar got a free drink and I got lunch while I was there because I was like I was a bit hungry. Um, and then I went back around 40 minutes later and my room still wasn't ready so they gave me another free drink. So I was like, I'm not complaining. I was like, I'm going to go to the bar after I checked in so if I'm going to get free drinks before I check in, no harm done. So that was nice. And then when I, I came back around, it's 5 o'clock now, I went back around like 20 to 5-ish in around. And um, there's a new man behind the desk, and um, I was chatting it back and forth. And obviously, when you like check into a hotel, you show ID to prove like you are who you are. And I looked at my passport, and he's like, "Oh, you're Irish. I, I, I didn't hear your accent." And in my head, I was like, "Oh my god, am I losing my accent?" And then we started talking. He's like, "Oh, now I hear your accent. That makes more sense." And I was like, "Oh my god, thank god." Because he said like he knows people from Cork and Limerick and all, but when he hears anyone from the Midlands, he has no idea. And I was like, "I don't blame you. No, it's not really a place you go for holidays." So like only way you know the midlands is if you're from the midlands but yeah 
So I, my experience is so good so far. So like the minute I arrived in the airport, there was a sign with my name on it with the logo of the agency that was collecting me. He picked me up, he, he drove me here. It was like a 10, 15 minute drive, not that long. And we are just chatting back and forth about, he was recommending places I should go and everything. And then when I got to the hotel, he gave me a map of White Horse about like places to eat, places to see, whatnot. And then my itinerary for today and tomorrow and whatnot. And obviously, I don't have clothes that could kind of keep me warm with this kind of weather, this kind of, this, like the, how, of how cold it is. Right now when I was walking about it was cold but I could like, I could tolerate it but tonight when we're going on the Northern Lights tour, no way could I breathe that kind of cold. So I, I rented winter clothes. So you see that like, that big red bag. That's all my winter clothes. I thought I can give you all like a like a mini haul. So this big bad boy. Well, you can't really see how big it is. This big bad boy are my winter clothes. I do try on them. See what it looks like. So I got mittens because these will freeze if I don't. I got a, a hat. How cute. And I'll see hats. Then. Oh my bees. You're a big boy. I got a coat. A big coat. Which is good, so it'll keep me warm. Then I got. Oh my gosh, how cute. I got my cat. They got, then I got boots. Oh, I got something else. Oh my God, I got more mittens. Okay, so these are the kind of things where I can move my fingers in. These are the kind where I can't move my fingers in. So I'll wear both. Take these off when I need to like, use my fingers. I don't know how to do this action, it's kind of strange. But yeah, do you want me to try them on? And I'll see, take my shoes off, because these shoes, I tried to walk in them out there and I was walking I was like Bambi on ice. I'm just gonna try on like the trousers and everything and see how they fit. So I step into it. Quick. <laughs> but it's like a it's like Button, button. Oh my god, I feel like I'm a toddler again because like last time I wore these kind of trousers with one other toddler. And I went like sledding and skiing. That was a fun time. Oh my god. I don't know how like how you can see me, but these are cute. I need to get me a pair of these. How about Oh, there's two zips. <coughs> this will definitely keep me warm. Oh, I might as well do the full fit with the hat. <sighs> I love the snow. So I have the Aurora viewing tour tonight and tomorrow night, and then I have the Husky Rush superlative tomorrow. So from 10 o'clock tonight till tomorrow 10 o'clock, I'm a busy woman, so I might go, like I've eaten so I'm not hungry, but I might go and like, now that I have my map, I might go walk around and see, and now that I have like proper shoes to actually walk in, I can walk without being bummy on ice, so that's also a plus. I'm gonna show you what I can and keep you updated. I'll see you whenever I vlog next, so, bye. I'm just walking and seeing, just exploring my horse, and it is so beautiful, like it's just like a typical small town, so it's nice, but yeah, I'll bring it around. You can see like the mountains from here, and like all the snow, and it's just, I just like it. It's nice, it's a lovely town, 
had everything you need basically and like nothing you don't need if that makes sense. So I just woke up from a quick power nap. When I say power nap, nap I mean like an hour long nap. But that's okay because I didn't get much sleep last night because I was excited for this trip because the Northern Lights viewing tour was at 10 p.m. I'm not sure how long it was on for, but I know we leave the hotel at 10 p.m. So I said I'll get a nap in and get rejuvenated. So I'm actually like fully awake for it. So I may get ready because like we're meet we're leaving at 10 i don't know if we're meeting at 10 like i'm gonna go down around court just in case because i don't want a, a chance them leaving without me because i would yeah that would, that would be bad um so yeah that's nothing really exciting today just a lot of back and forth but the main thing is tomorrow with the husky rush superlatives and another night of viewing you know the lights. Time for this bad boy. Make sure you don't put it on back to front. <laughs> I think anyone of these, I like it. I like this. I'm super warm already. I think the leggings were a good idea. It's really like really back. <laughs> the almighty jacket. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy, boy. Um, quarter past nine. So, I'm on schedule with my timing, which is good. Because I like to... Oh, you have a hood too. I didn't even realize that. I feel really short in this because everything's so big. <laughs> I'm loving this. <laughs> this sounds like when I walk. Then, obviously I'm not going to put the mittens on now because I need my hands. I'm not wearing it like that. I'm going to take it off right now and put it on when I need it. So yeah, this is, this is the outfit. Um, I'm going to put my Mahoosu boots on. Then, oh uh, yeah, so... I'll see you when we're on our way to see the Northern Lights. I'm so excited. Look at me all kitted out. You, both, you won't even know it's me because of the mask and the hat and my hair is tied back. And once I zip this up, I'm yeah, going to scooby who I am. So, I'm excited. It's going to be good. Skies look clear, so hopefully it's clear where we're going. Cause it's like half an hour from here, but obviously there's too much ambient light here to see the like old vibrancy of it. So I think we're going like out into the wilderness. I don't know. I'll bring you with me so we can find out together. Yeah, you can barely see me right now, but it's at the campfire and it has like blue and purple flames and it's really pretty, but just sitting here and waiting for something to show up. It's pretty, nothing's showing at the moment and kind of cloudy, but you can see some stars and constellations. So fingers crossed that something shows up. If I didn't take a nap, I'd be right right now. Like, I'm tired now, so imagine if I didn't take a nap. But yeah, did I see the aurora? 
Yes. Or was it clear and vibrant? No. Like, we could see it was really active behind the clouds, but it was behind the clouds. So it was, like I was trying to film on my camera and nothing would show up. Like it wouldn't, like my camera would pick up just darkness. So we got a few photos on like the agency's camera because like they get like, they can get the colors. So it wasn't like a vibrant one through the camera either, but you could see that they were active, which was frustrating because the clouds would move. But yeah, it was nice. I went snowshoeing and we met s'mores by the campfire and it was a nice night. It's just, we didn't see the Northern Lights that well. But tomorrow night's another night, so fingers crossed. But I'm also going to the Husky Rush supportive tomorrow as well and I hear that's really fun. But I was right, these leggings kept me warm. I was, I was nice and toasty. But all the, all the photos I took on the personal camera was because like my hat was like like this and like my hair is up some I guess in the photographs <laughs> but it's not very attractive but I love them either way because um, you can see what's nice behind me a bit not as vibrant as you see in like the postcards and the photographs and everything but like sometimes you can't even see them to the make it eye. Like sometimes you have to take a photograph. Like the a the lady from the agency was taking a photograph every hour to see like what the camera pick up because sometimes it's not visible to the naked eye. So we'll just go wait and see tomorrow. I'm gonna go and sleep because I gotta go get up early tomorrow. I was talking to this lady and she asked me like where I'm from and I was like I'm from Ireland and she was like, oh I would have never guessed. You don't really have an accent. I was like in my head. Oh my god, that's the second time someone said that to me today. And then we started talking more, and then she's like, Oh, now I hear your accent. And I was like, That was also the second time someone said that to me today. So, weird, what a coincidence. Maybe I am losing my accent. Anyway, gotta go sleep. Gotta go get out of all these layers. So, yeah, good night. Good morning. It's currently 8am and I'm going on a city tour of Whitehorse at 10. So I was planning to get up like earlier and like walk around Whitehorse before the tour but I was like I'll get a tour of it so what's the point to walk around before I do that. So I didn't um, but I'm going to the Husky Superlative at 12.45 and around of time between that and the uh, viewing tour um, to go to the Yukon River because apparently just walking up that is beautiful so I'm hoping to go there if not I can go tomorrow morning because check out that 11 so if I could be earlier and dawdle around and see things and everything yeah I'm excited like I didn't realize I booked a city tour I think that's like with the general package I look at my itinerary and I wonder like um, I was looking at my itinerary just to check like what time to wake up and everything and I was like oh I don't remember booking that but I'm happy it's part of the package so, so I get to see like horse not just like see on my own but like being explained the history and things I probably wouldn't see just by walking around so yeah hopefully today the skies are clearer and everything like that because the main reason I'm here is to see the Northern Lights. Anyway, I'm gonna go see Huskies. I'm gonna see the history of White Horse. So either way, it's it's a good it's a good um it's a good trip. So yeah, also mining <laughs> Yeah. So I was like the only one that had the tour that time. So I got a private tour. But didn't pay for a private tour because it was a public tour. So it was handy. I got to sit in the front seat and like see everything and we stopped off and went to some places. Like we couldn't film everything because it was like just me and the guide and it would be awkward if I just started talking to you guys and showing things on my camera. But I filmed a bit just to show like he just drove me around my horse and brought me to like the historic places and um went into a museum to see the mining and 
the map in the wildlife and he and the guide was just kind of telling me like what restaurants are best what trails to walk on and everything like that so it was nice and they took photographs of me in front of things and like he he was the same guy who kept me from the airport yesterday he's really really nice he's such a lovely person and um so yeah it was fun so now i have around 15 minutes until i gotta go for my husky rush superlative so we can't really go anywhere like I'm kind of munching on marshmallows as like a snack because like he offered, this girl offered me like to drop me off at like a cafe to get me a sandwich and all and I wasn't really hungry and I thought like if I did that I'd be like uh, running for the sandwich up here and all and I don't want the stress of being late so I was like I'm fine like there's going to be food at the husky rush anyway so not like I'm going to like stop and then I'll have a huge dinner to fill me up for the aurora tonight uh, and it's cloudy. I'm looking at the clouds. It's cloudy, but it's windy. So hopefully they push away from here. So like there are patches of clear. So at least that's something. But we gotta gotta wait and see. But the tour is really good. My horse is stunning. So I'm excited to see the huskies. <laughs> That was called the diphtheria. Mm. Uh, the dogs have been used for that to help um, humans. So. Well, that was just wonderful, incredible, amazing. I'm lost for words. That was oh my god. I love huskies. Anyone who knows me, like that's my favorite breed. I want all the huskies in the world. I love them so much. And the the just sitting in the sled we went over fish lake like over a lake frozen lake very very thick ice and we went around like the view of the mountains just the snow just the dogs oh, it was perfect and then we went and had some smokies afterwards and then we had some s'mores i consumed a lot of s'mores on this trip not complaining I'm, hol I'm on holidays i can enjoy myself but yeah at the moment it's very 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 cloudy but they say that the weather from now to 10 o'clock can change so i'm hopeful i'm so happy i did the husky rush superlative like that was and you got to spend some time with the dogs and learn about the dogs and learn about dog sledding and yeah it was fun and i didn't like film myself talking and all that stuff because I was with a big group and a lot was going on and everything so I just filmed what I could. And I feel like this whole vlog is me filming what I'm doing when not talking and coming back to the hotel room to talk about it. I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't know. But yeah it was really 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 fun. All the guides were really lovely. They were talking about the quests they've been on and how difficult it is and what you have to do and oh my gosh I'd love to go on a quest well as a train for a while to go able to go on a quest but it sounds really cool such a fun experience very adventurous but it's tough very very tough but exciting at the same time and it's very interesting to hear the amount of people that used to live in Vancouver and who came here for like one winter and just stayed because it's a completely different lifestyle here completely different and people just it just it just feels like home here feels like home to them and it's lovely because it's a whole different way of living but this way of living they rather than the busy city life because obviously not the city life's not for everyone but this is a 
this is a spectacular place beautiful the people are lovely and there's so much to do so much to learn and the way of living is it's a very interesting way of living you must never have a boring day like every day is interesting like the dogs the sledding the snowmobile and then during the summer they have horses so they have horse riding they have canoeing they have like you can't complain i'm very happy i came here it's wonderful i can't get over the view of the mountains just circling this town it's up well, it's funny because when I went on the tour this morning and um, we were going down the main street and you're like, this is downtown. <laughs> and I'm like, why again? This is just, this is downtown. It's like this downtown versus Vancouver downtown is very, very different, but it's, so this is the city, but compared to Vancouver, it looks like a town, but obviously it is the city. But um, yeah, it's. Anywhere you look, there's mountains. Anywhere you look, there's beauty, there's nature, there's just, you can't get bored of this view. And even the flight up here. I've never flown up this north before. And like literally, so once we got kind of up to the North Shore Mountains, it was just continual mountains until we got here. Like even when we were landing in the airport, I couldn't see White Horse yet. I thought we were landing in the middle of nowhere. I thought we were landing like within the mountains and I was like, where are we going you know it was, it was like Ooh. so it's literally you depart from vancouver mountains then white horse like i didn't see anything else like obviously there obviously is something but you're so high up it's just pure mountain and it's just pure beauty so yeah i'll see you hopefully when i'm looking at guess what i got well, you probably already guessed, but like, got a hat. So, I think it's my thing now. Like, I'll get a hat wherever I go, so I'll have like a huge collection of everywhere I've been. You know, I thought that was kind of cool. Like, I think it's like, I think it's a nice hat. I don't know. So the Yukon River's like, it's frozen over, but you can see in the middle it's starting to melt. Because my tour guide told me like around two or three months ago he used to drive on the river. So obviously it was like thick, thick but now you can't. So um, it's melted because obviously it's coming in the spring. So you can't drive on it any longer. I could stand here, it's so beautiful. I look huge. I should have brought some coffee, but I didn't. But I've got marshmallows. So I'm just going to eat marshmallows and watch the sunset. This is a life. <laughs> I have been at peaks like this in a while. I got my mask on. Like this is our little cabin where we kind of go to warm up and have tea, coffee, hot chocolate and there's like snacks over there and no it's kind of it's a nice little kind of place to just relax while waiting because you can wait outside like I usually wait at the campfire but I come back here to refill my coffee so I can stay awake till three o'clock in the morning. And like in the cabin they have like four rows of Kind of the northern lights and the different areas and all and then over here we have like snacks and everything like that and then I'll see a stove to try and keep us warm and yeah it's nice little stuff. Just here chilling on a bench and just waiting for something to show up. But the moon's full. And it's not as cloudy as yesterday, so let's hope. Well, it wasn't as 
kind of easy yesterday today but the aurora wasn't as active so but, um even though i didn't get to see like i saw obviously i saw that it was a nice but obviously not as prominent and light brown as i'd hoped but even though i didn't get that i the trip was even more brilliant than i could have ever imagined like i learned so much about the history of white horse the lifestyle that people have here just a tour of the city learning about dog sledding the quest to yukon quest meeting the huskies it's it was an incredible trip it's even better than i'd hoped even though i didn't get to see the lights as vibrant as prominent as they could have been but i still got to see them and i'm gonna i'm gonna remember i still i still saw them because like, i think i didn't realize that most of the time the northern lights can't be seen by the naked eye like if you have like a really good camera you can you can show the hues but if you're standing there looking it looks like almost like a, a light cloud obviously sometimes depend like if they're very vibrant you can but like but like it wasn't like the photos you always see and all the things but just hanging out in the cabin having s'mores by the campfire chatting to people just sitting and just looking at the sky like i basically just stargazed for four hours last night and tonight and that was brilliant in itself so i can't can't complain at all but uh, my head looks so small in this jacket because like oops. but yeah this like i couldn't film many things on my camera because it was so dark that nothing would show up so i got some photographs which is still good but i just couldn't film as much outside because i have to put like my torch and my phone on that would interfere with other things and it's just I didn't want to bother anyone else so that's what I did but yeah I'm home now it's 23 I'm gonna go to sleep I'm not really that tired but I need to sleep because I'm getting up early tomorrow morning see you the sunrise good night I'll see you tomorrow morning bright and early good morning it's currently around 8 a.m. And I'm out here waiting for the sunrise. How long will you cut over? I'm kind of walking to see like where is the best spot to see it. Before I end this vlog, I just want to say that this has been an incredible experience. The agency I booked with, like the transfers they organized, activities they organized, the hotel they booked me in everything was just perfect and um, i'll link their website down below if anyone wants to like come here and see everything because i i really recommend it so i'll link them down below then they're called the northern tales and all the staff have been lovely very accommodating very helpful because like, i'm on my own so it's a bit daunting sometimes if you don't have someone to talk to or let's say like you want a photograph taken of yourself they will offer so it's, it's, they've made this trip 10 times better than I could have ever imagined. I'm really happy I booked with them. This is a really funny angle, but it's best I can do. Um, it's really cloudy this morning, unfortunately. So there's not going to be much of a sunrise. Of course it's cloudy. What else will there be, you know? But that's okay because there's still a beautiful view of the mountains. Like sunrise or no sunrise, it's beautiful either way. So I'm probably going to end the vlog here because... <laughs> also, the AJ book which provides me with this beautiful ensemble and his lifty boots. That prevents me from slipping and embarrassing myself. So. Thanks for that. But I'm probably gonna end about here because there's no there's not gonna be any extravagant sunrise. 
so that's okay. We're ending on a good note, for the beautiful view of the mountains. I don't know if you can see the beautiful view of the mountains, but you can, you have the idea. But, thank you for watching. I am sorry it's taken so long for me to upload a new vlog, but I try to be more consistent from now on. Try is the key word. But yeah, I've loved this trip. It's been incredible. Wonderful, amazing, beautiful, all of the lovely words that there are in this world. And I'm very happy I decided to come here. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!